Okay guys, welcome back. Um, we've got the, uh, the knife ready and prepped. We've got our jig hole in there, the 332nd hole at the end, about an eighth inch up from the uh, bottom of the knife. We've got the channel grounding to both sides using a hollow jig that we're going to be using. I did a video on earlier. Now you're going to take your knife, you're going to place it on the 332nd pin or brad and it'll hold it enough for you to get close to the plate and get it up against that plate. Um, it won't hold it solidly so as I said in my previous video there will be times when you get mad at yourself and this knife is going to go flying to the floor. The knife is prepped, you've got your jig, very inexpensive to build, you place the, uh, the knife onto that pin. Let me see if I can get close enough for you folks to see it. You got the pin, goes on there, and it just gets in place. The thing is, you've got that pin centered, so you need to place your pin hole, the receiving hole, right in line with your blade so you can keep it vertical. If you start doing things like this where the knife is off because you've got that pin hole off, you're going to get a funky uh, hollow, uh, excuse me, a funky taper on there. I'm using a Burr King 960-200. It's an older machine. But these things are built for decades, and it's got a two-horse, 240-volt uh, uh, motor on there. Thing is great. Okay, we're about ready to fire up the uh, the Bird King here. One thing you won't see me doing is I'm not going to be wearing my mask today, so I can talk to you. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do a voiceover or not, but this would inhibit that. I am a nut about safety. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell or not. I'm wearing a uh, leather apron. Sparks from 1095 come off pretty hot. Not that you're going to really be in super danger from it, but I'll tell you what, it will set you free if you get one in the wrong place. This is uh, really important. Um, you can get a version of black lung if you inhale too much of this stuff. So luckily right now using this heavy of a grit, I'm not going to be getting that tiny of uh, chips coming off, so I'm not too concerned about it. So let's fire this up. I'm not too concerned about it. So let's fire this up and get it going. Okay, Get it right in the center of that plate. I'm going to come in on the left side of the knife. And I just want to show you what a couple passes have done for that channel we've got right there. Keep an eye on the channel. I'm dipping in the water, both the jig and the blade. Wiping off the chip residue. Can you see that, guys? Bring it down, and when it starts moving up like this, then I know I'm applying enough pressure to the bottom of the knife. I'm going to flip it around. If you never want to have an uneven grind, I try to do a couple of passes on each side. You see that okay? Taking that camper pretty well off. 
especially in the front, so I need to improve the back by just balancing my hands better. So I'm going to turn it around and get this side equal. done using the Burr King right now. We're going to go and switch over to the 4x36 and uh, finish this out. 